Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make Parmesan fried zucchini. We're making some little zucchini chips and boy are they delicious. It's a great way to use up all of that summer zucchini. Pour enough vegetable oil into a skillet to cover the bottom with about three quarters to one inch of oil. Get it heating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you'll need three or four zucchini, and these are a little bit small, so I'm using four. You'll discard the ends and then cut the zucchini into little quarter inch slices. You can cut them into the discs, or you can also cut them into wedges, like, you know, wedge fries as well, if you'd like that shape. You should end up with a nice little pile of zucchini, and set that aside. Next, you'll need three shallow dishes for dredging, and I like to use pie plates. In the first dish, you'll need just one cup of plain all-purpose flour. In the second dish, you'll need one cup of buttermilk, which is nice and thick, and two large eggs, and you'll want to quickly whisk those together. In the last dish, you'll need one cup of plain unseasoned breadcrumbs, Add half a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese to that, one teaspoon of Italian seasonings, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and stir that together. Then we're ready to dredge. So grab some zucchini, and we'll toss them in the flour, just so they get a little coating on that. Then grab it out, then we'll dip it in the egg mixture, and then last, you'll want to toss it in the breadcrumb mixture to coat. We'll double check our oil temperature here. You want it to be about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're right there, so we're ready to fry. Then we'll carefully place our zucchini into the hot oil and let it fry for about two to three minutes. Once they're golden brown, you can fish them out using a slotted spoon or spatula and place them onto a paper towel lined plate to drain. And that's it, you're ready to eat. I like to serve mine up hot with a little marinara, although they're still really good plain. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.